Hello everybody and welcome back to VC Football where El Tri has finally decided on a new head coach and his name is Diego Coca. And honestly, I had to look into this guy because he came out of nowhere. <laughs> so I'm going to be learning along with you because the big question here is who is Diego Coca and why was he chosen as head coach? Let's get right into it. All I have seen on social media recently has been Tigres and how they are furious because back in November, Diego Coca was their head coach. And here we are about four months later and he's leaving them high and dry to join El Tri. Now, what qualifications does Coca have and why would he be chosen over other candidates? Well, the guy did go back to back in La Liga MX with Atlas when they won titles in the 2021 Apertura and then 2022 Clausura. And it is important that you know that he did very well in La Liga MX because only a couple of days before he was chosen to be head coach, there was a massive restructuring of El Tri. Days before Coca's appointment, the FMF announced a restructuring effort that included the hiring of Rodrigo Ares de Parga as the new executive director of national teams and the formation of a national team committee. And here's the kicker. The committee is made up of leaders from huge teams in La Liga MX such as Chivas, Santos, Club América, Necaxa, Club Tijuana, and you will also have the FMF president, Yon De Luisa. And all of these people collectively chose Diego Coca as El Tri's next coach. And this decision was not taken lightly, or at least it shouldn't have been taken lightly, considering all of the failures that Mexico has had over the last couple of years. As I have talked about endlessly here on VC Football, because I will not forget, Mexico lost the Gold Cup in 2021 and the Nations League final, both trophies to the United States. A long list of failures for the Mexican teams include failing to qualify for the 2023 Women's World Cup, the 2023 U20 Men's World Cup, and the 2024 Olympics for both the men's and women's teams. This is the first stage of the restructuring effort for El Tri, and I for one am all for it because the long list of failures needs to end in 2023. But now the reason you're here, and let me give you my reaction to Diego Coca as Mexico's next head coach. And right from the get-go, if you are a subscriber here on BC Football, you will know that the person I wanted as next head coach is Miguel El Piojo Herrera. The guy has a passion for El Tri like nobody I've seen before, but he wasn't the only one whose name was thrown into the ring of possible candidates. Along El Piojo were Guillermo Almada, Ignacio Ambriz, Antonio Mohamed, and Marcelo Bielsa. All of these guys were in the running for Mexico's coaching job and were all pushed to the wayside in favor of Diego Coca. And here is probably where it's important to note that Diego Coca is from Argentina. Now I know that is a very hot topic lately, especially after the 2022 World Cup. And I for one am gonna be the first to say, how many times do we need to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> Mexico, did you not learn anything after the World Cup? El Tata Martino, a man from Argentina who was already struggling as head coach with El Tri, gets faced up against his home country. Don't you think that's a possible conflict of interest that could happen again? Come on, people. It's not that hard. But it's not only the fact that Diego Coca is from Argentina. That's not the only reason why I think he's not the person for the job. The main reason why I don't want him as Mexico's head coach is he's so defense oriented. The man, if he could, would defend for an entire game. And if it was zero to zero, he'd be all for it. He's basically like El Cholo Simeone of Atletico Madrid for now. And Mexico just doesn't play like that. Knowing him, he's gonna wanna come into the team and start with like five at the back or something. Mexico does not play a defense oriented strategy. We've always been offense oriented and the pressure is on for the Argentine because there is no prep time here as Mexico's next head coach. He's going to be facing Suriname and Jamaica next month in Nations League matches. And I'm sure you know after the sour taste 
that Mexico fans had after the World Cup, we are going to be expecting, no, demanding wins against these two teams. And Diego Coca will be tested right away this year because we have a Gold Cup just around the corner starting in June. So guys, I am not happy with Diego Coca as head coach of Air 3. If you are, leave a comment down below, let me know why. Because if you're in my camp, you don't want to see Mexico defending for 90 minutes. As always, thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed here on the channel. We are closing in on 1,500 subscribers. Let's make it happen, everybody. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.